Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. This morning, Thought Park revealed the website sharing the public consultation for their brand new roller coaster, codenamed Project Exodus. We found out yesterday um, that the ride's going to be the tallest roller coaster in the UK at 72 meters. That's 236 feet. And we'll be taking the record from the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, of course, if the planning permission is granted for this new new ride. Um, let's get straight into it then because uh, the website's just gone live this morning. Let's have an initial look at the plans and I'll share my thoughts from this. So here we go straight into the first image that shows an aerial overview of the site. Now the proposed development site sits in the southeast corner of Thorpe Park adjacent to Abbey Lake um, and the site is approximately 1.7 hectares. We know of course this is the old town themed area of the park. Uh, they're removing uh, the former log flume attraction, Logger's Leap, along with the three um, flat rides that were still operating at the end of last season in that area. That's all been removed um, to make way for this new roller coaster. And uh, yeah, as we can see here um, from an aerial overlook, it's a pretty compact ride. So I'm just going to talk um, through this with my initial thoughts. So of course, we can see um, kind of in the middle there, the where it's labeled the train station. That's the existing train station um, currently in Old Town. We can see that the ride station is going to be built um, directly um, where the train station is. It's then going to exit the station um, round to the right hand side. And before the lift hill, it's got like an outward bank section before we even start to climb up the lift hill on this coaster. So, yes, we now know, of course, there's going to be a huge lift um, for this ride. And as you can see, it's really hard to kind of work out um, how long this is going to be and what elements there's going to be and even the manufacturer even though we've got a few more ideas um so yeah we look at this kind of um this big drop that, that's going to be at the, uh, after we've uh, reached the top of the lift though you're going to come straight down into this big drop now of course it's really hard to see from an aerial overview so i'll show you the next few images in just a second um it seems like the ride could have two maybe even three inversions from looking at this however from an initial overview um it does look quite short from the plans um especially you look at the brake run at the end there that looks quite a long section as well as we'll see in a moment now we can also see here there's going to be a plaza area um, with a new retail um, food and beverage unit and um, kind of as you walk into old town at the moment that'll all be a new plaza and there's also a splash plaza as well so it looks like there's going to be a splashdown element and uh, yeah that's going to be a viewing area looking at that so yeah this is really exciting stuff um, just to see the overview initial reaction is this looks like a monster but it also looks pretty short let's move on to the second Second image just here and here we can have a look at part of the queue line and most importantly the station bear in mind it isn't going to look like a brick building like that this is just the initial plans things may change but this gives us a really good look at that outward bank as you leave the station and make your way around to the right and we also get to see um, some of the other elements on here. Of course, we can see the huge lift hill um, for the ride there. We can also see what appears to be a large loop that looks absolutely huge. And also what looks to me um, possibly like an uninverting loop there as well. And um, the support structure looks like a monster, doesn't it? It looks like an absolute beast. Um, but yeah, you can see how the queue line is also going to have some amazing views um, looking at this new coaster. As we move across to the next image, this looks like it's from the Splash Plaza as they're calling it and from what I can see if you look on the far left of the image that looks like that's going to be the splashdown we can see a section of track just there that looks quite straight um, but yeah there's so much going on in this image um, in the top left corner is that possibly the bottom of the first drop and going up into that huge overbank we can see there there's what looks to be some kind of stall inversion just below that there as well of course we can see that this coat is going to get quite low down towards the existing lake there as well and there's also an airtime hill. Bear in mind, this coaster is going to be so tall, it is going to fly through the layouts. Like we're looking at this here, um, you know, some really low sections, some really tall sections. It's going to be absolutely flying um, through the, the layouts. As we move to the next image here, um, now, of course, we, we can see the track looks very different here. And uh, yeah, that's just for the purpose um, of what they've put on the website here for it to see. So don't look too much into that, the fact it's just two lines. But this gives us a great view of that huge lift hill 
three main supports there holding it up and then an absolutely huge drop that looks uh, near vertical possibly looks like it has a twist in there as well um, and yeah it kind of looks like the coaster goes down that first drop and from this image looks like it goes up into that huge overbank before making its way back into the two large inversions that we can see definitely a large loop there and uh, it looks like a non-inverting loop to me there as well possibly however it's still so hard to tell with these plans as we move across to the next image just here um, and the final uh, concept image that gives us a view um, looking at the brake run and um, for the ride we can see quite a long brake run section there and also prior to that there's an airtime hill uh, before coming into the brake run we also get a really good view of some other parts of the coaster, including what looks to be the splashdown element there. So yes, you'll be on this plaza looking across to that. Uh, and then also we can see these this huge monster of a coaster. It's going to have some speed, this is. And uh, yeah, the drop, what looks to be two, maybe three inversions there. And that huge overbank as well. Uh, that's going to be a massive um, overbank that we can see just there. But uh, yeah, this is massive stuff. I'm going to show you this image just now. This is actually showing um, the view from the, uh, the local uh, motorway um, looking across to it. Because yeah, you look at that and that is absolutely crazy. So yeah, if you're looking at the motorway, it's only a low quality image image um like yeah that looks absolutely insane doesn't it i mean yeah look at that you can just see colossus off to the side and just the size of this coaster and it gives you a good idea on the gradient um, of the drop for it as well and uh yeah just want to move now on to the time frame for all of this so as we can see 9th of december which was yesterday the consultation started uh, by january the 7th it will close uh, in january and february they'll review the consultation responses and final developments then they'll finalize and submit the application in spring next year planning decision will be issued in late spring summer 2022 with construction set to start in late 2022 which does mean that we're looking and likely for this to open in 2024 this will be a big build with lots of groundwork uh, let's go back then and just talk about some other images um you know what, what we've got here so yeah if we go back to that initial um overview from above you know you look at that and think blimey how can you work the layout out but yeah it, you know it was hard to tell initially i thought maybe it goes down a drop then straight into an inversion but now i'm thinking and of course it's going to go into that big overbank before coming back towards the lift hill um, which is crazy really and then of course we go back to the second image you can kind of see that a bit more how yes it goes up into the overbank and then comes back into what appear to be uh, two inversions a large loop and a non-inverting loop this then leads me on to talk about the manufacturer now this of course you know it's come as a bit of a surprise because I think a lot of people were expecting a B&M coaster I was thinking we might see a traditional out and back hyper coaster from B&M this is certainly not that this is a very different design um, to what we're looking at my initial Initial thoughts from looking at this and from the inversions, of course, Intamin spring to mind, uh, along with that Mac rides as well. Definitely not b and I think we can rule that out. Of course, we know it's going to be a steel coaster. There was still, um, you know, speculation that it could have been an RMC. Obviously, we now know that isn't the case. It's a full steel coaster. Um, what's going in here? The track type looks very familiar uh, to Mac rides or Intamin. Um, some of the elements look very Mac on here to me. However, some of the elements also look very Intamin. The park are stating they have yet picked a manufacturer however i'm pretty certain they will have they just don't want to uh, reveal too much because if they did we'd be able to get more of an idea on everything and they still want to keep some surprise elements to this as well so um but looking at that outward kind of banking out of the station um, that certainly looks like a, a, an element that either Mac um, or Intamin could do. Uh, and then, of course, you look at the inversions on here. That large loop looks very, very Mac ride. It kind of looks like the Land of Legends hyper coaster. We also know the ride was compared sound wise to that, as it was said yesterday in the consultation. And of course, the huge non inverting loop looks like a very Mac element, too, along with the support structure. Uh, so I'm still leaning towards this possibly being a Mac ride. Uh, however, you know, there is still a chance that. Uh, it could uh, be an Intamin or another manufacturer but looking at this I think we're, we're definitely looking at either a Mac or an Intamin here but uh, there we go they're my initial thoughts on the plans this is big stuff um, the layout does look quite short however as long as the ride is action packed I think the plaza area you're going to stand underneath this coaster and be wowed you're going to be amazed at this um, the size of it and the overall feel so yeah I, I, I'm really excited for that um, we don't know how long the track is going to be you know and it's hard to take a guess really from this it looks possibly like maybe 
3,000 to 3,500 feet of track uh, at a guess. But again, it's so hard um, to tell from these plans because we're not seeing this coaster from every angle. So there we go. I'm going to leave it there. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, this is certainly really exciting. Big news for Thorpe Park and huge news for the UK theme park industry. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, our initial look at the plans for this massive monster of a coaster. And that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in the next video.